Today we're going to figure out how to figure out a problem why the gate is not opening. The first thing that you should do is check the power source to see if it's on. We usually reset the power and that usually does the job. But in this case we had to reset the loop detector. So let me show you how to open it up. One screw. Another screw. And then we have one more on the side. outer shell is off and then the inner shell just just press it up and it comes off all right so the first thing you should do is this is the power source right here so if it's not closing what you can do is press the two hinges right here and take it off okay wait a couple of seconds and then put it back in. All right, see if that works. And then you press stop right here, and then you press close. So that should do it. If it's not, if that doesn't reset your gate and it closes, it might be, it might be the loop detectors these are your loop detectors okay the way that you know that they're working you see the heartbeat the heartbeat is the blue lights that are blinking you see them right there the blue lights we're gonna see them one more time those are your blue lights it's the heartbeat so they're working now if one blue light is on constantly that means it's not working you have to switch them out get a new one or most likely reset them now the technician was here today and he taught me how to reset it so this is the first step the first step is you turn that power off here then you turn the power off here, okay? So turn the power off here, and then you turn the power off here. Then you're going to unplug the main power source right here. Then you're going to unplug the backup power source, which is right here, okay? Then you're gonna take whichever one isn't working. I would just suggest just take both of them out take both of them out or again whatever one isn't working whatever one has a solid light that's constant take that one out wait 10 seconds then put it back in okay so you're going to take it out and then put it back in wait 10 seconds then you're going to put your main power back in and then you're going to put your backup power back in okay put these two back in then you're going to turn on your main power source turn it on and then you're going to turn on your other power source right here okay so that's how you reset the motherboard and that's how you reset the loop detectors ignition also told me that you may want to play around with the frequencies since right now they're on eight. Each loop detector is on the number eight. So if it does, if the loop detector does act up, you may want to adjust the actual frequencies for each loop detector and test that and try it out. And then, um, and then go from there. Just want to add on an extra coach in here. So as you can see, if you press open, the gate will open. Okay. Close it. 
closes by itself. And then if it's, if it doesn't want to close, all you gotta do is press close. Then it'll close. The loop detectors, as you can see, when a car comes right here, it actually detects it on the motherboard, on one of the loop detectors. And that's when the gate opens. And then when the car passes through, there's another patch right there where the car puts pressure on the cement and then the other loop detector detects it and that's how the gate closes. So that's the importance of having the loop detectors work and reset so the gate can actually open and close properly. Hope this helps guys.